Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Salesforce with Megan. If you are new here, welcome. I talk about everything Salesforce and career development along with productivity. And if you are coming back, thank you so much. Excited to see you. For today's video, we are going to be talking about LinkedIn and LinkedIn banners. You might be asking why, and that's because when people come to your LinkedIn profile, the first thing that they're going to see are the visuals of your profile. So that means that we want to make sure that your LinkedIn profile and banner is saying, I am in Salesforce. And it can also show anything else that you wish to replicate and showcase. In this instance, as you can see, we have Canva up. Now Canva is a place where you can have a bunch of different designs, get creative with things, and as well as come up with a LinkedIn banner. I use it for pretty much everything, and that includes YouTube, social media, my projects or presentations as well. So let's go ahead and just dive in into how you would create a LinkedIn banner from Canva. I just wanna disclose that Canva is not the only place where you can create a LinkedIn banner. There also are places such as just uploading one from Google. You can do PowerPoint and edit it to how you wish. This is going to be a paid platform, about $10 a month. I use it a lot, so it's totally worth it. So let's go ahead and see if you like it and maybe you'll start using it too. Yay, so here you have over 3000 results for your LinkedIn banner. Now you can select one and customize it and choose it as you wanted. So let's go ahead and do one and I don't have a color template. So right now you can see that a whole bunch of like computer designs are popping up, kind of like techie designs as well. Uh, but these are just an option of all the color templates and templates in general that you have for yourself to be able to really create and make your own. So definitely go through this, play with it if you decide to go with Canva that is, um, and then just kind of play with what you see here. Now let's go ahead and pick a design where we can showcase how you will be changing that once you do select a template that you do like. All right, so we found one and I wanna talk about why we selected this one. So we picked one that was neutral. It's very calming. It shows a computer in the background. It's reflective of a professional setting. So think about that when you are selecting your template. It doesn't need to be totally not you. Don't pick that. Still select something that replicates you, that you can design and really call your own. Okay, so here's a LinkedIn banner example. We're going to go ahead and customize it, perhaps Salesforce administrator. So I can't really read that font. What we can do is simply go up here and just change the font. And then we can customize it, we can move it, we can place it to where we want. We can get rid of things, perhaps having your contact information is not something that you want up there, just delete it. And then here I wanted to put five times certified. Okay. And again, I don't really want information, but you totally can put that if you want. So what I can have here is boom, boom, somebody comes onto my LinkedIn, they see there's a computer, coffee, I'm ready to work, they see Salesforce administrator. And then let's say I wanted to pull up certifications. You can go right under to the elements section and you can type in anything that you wanted. So let's say Salesforce. I can pick the little cloud, I can move this right over here, I can put it on the side, I can move this over here and I can put this here. All right, perfect. So this is not my to-go template, but this is just an example. Okay, perfect. So now we have the Salesforce cloud on the left. And then let's say we wanted to add our Salesforce certifications. We can completely do that. All you would do is go to the upload section. You would save that certification, which you passed, upload it into your computer, and then here it would be available for you. So let's go ahead and pick Salesforce administrator. Now, when people come to my profile, I'll just move this over here. And again, you can make it larger or bigger if you want. I'll paste it here and perhaps I don't want that anymore so I can move this down. But now moving forward, when people come to my profile, they'll be able to automatically see, okay, she's doing Salesforce, she's certified administrator, and then it even says it again right here. So these are just the options and the templates that you have for you. But this is just a way for you to be able to create headers for yourself. I highly do suggest it, especially if you're in the tech or Salesforce industry, showcase who you are, you're amongst other people who are applying for similar jobs. It's great to be able to give perhaps the employer or a recruiter or somebody that just might encounter your profile and have similar interests as you. I feel like many times when I find people who have really creative designs, it intrigues me to want to get to know more and get to know them. 
if I went back to my home page at any time, I can see that I have my template right here and I can quickly just make a copy, move to folder, download. What you want to do is click download. You'll get an option of PNG. If I wanted a PDF print, video, and you can do all of this. This is just gonna take some more time playing and I'll, I'll make sure to do this in a future video. But what you wanna do is save PNG. So you'll get a notification that your image saved. Let's go ahead and go over to LinkedIn and show you how to upload that. All right, so we are back on the profile. So all you'll do to upload your new picture, which is still showcased on the bottom left, is you are going to click this little icon right here. You are going to change photo. Then you are going to upload the photo. You're going to see that selection saved. You can move it, you can just make it bigger, smaller, zoom, rotate it, whatever you wanna do. Um, and then all you'll do is click apply and then voila, your new LinkedIn banner will appear. All right, everybody, that is all I have for you today. I hope that you did learn something about LinkedIn banners and that you did enjoy seeing Canva and how to design a new banner for yourself. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the description. And if you did like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It does let me know that this content is something that you do enjoy. So I will see y'all in the next video and take care. Bye.